to say. Hey Instagram, it's Nella the Lean Cook. I am going to cook dinner and I'm going to have you keep me company. I'm going to chat a little bit. You can ask me some questions if you like or just watch me cook. I don't mind at all. Right, okay, well, chopping board. I've got ingredients over here. I'm going to make a version of my fajita chicken and... Tyson says hello. Hi, Tyson. Hi, Nadia says hello. Hi, Nadia. Hello, she is. Right, okay, so I better get cooking. So I'm guessing that you are either having dinner or doing something really exciting. As you can see, I've done nothing this evening. I've done a yoga stretching session and uh, I feel loads better for it because I've had a little bit of a knot behind my shoulder. Oh, my mum's watching. Hi, mum. So I'm just gonna prep dinner. As I said, you can ask me questions as I go along. I can't really see what's happening, so I'm going to move. Chicken tray bag. Oh, Tyson, nice. So I'm watching you over here, which is really quite weird. Um, but I am cooking, and I chop this onion, and I try not to cry. It's really hard at times with onions because I have to run off and go and get a tea towel. So if I embarrass myself on an Instagram live, well, I don't care. Hey Ben, how you doing? Right, okay, so I'm going to chop onion. It's really boring, but I don't care. You've you got to chop an onion. So what's everyone up to tonight? Have you had dinner? What have you had? Hey Ben. Right, more onion. God, I can feel this burning my eyes already. This is bad. Right. So, onion chopped and it's going in a bowl. Well, exciting. Right, peppers next. So, anybody got any questions that they want to ask me? What am I making? I'm making a, a, a version of my fajita chicken. So there's a 90 day um, friendly version on the app on the website. It's my spices flip for heat chicken. Um, it is gonna be spices flip because I am gonna be using a bit of this stuff, sriracha hot sauce, because I love the stuff. Can't help it. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of ketchup as well. This was a tip from Chris. When we first met, he made fajitas. This is what he would chuck in as his secret ingredient. So I'm gonna do it too. Right, let's chop these peppers. Brilliant, Lauren. So you're having one of my noodle recipes tonight after you've done your workout. Well, it's great you've done your workout. For me, it was a bit of yoga because I did a, my first proper workout last night in a little while because I've been catching everything that my children bring home from nursery. And I've had a little knot in my shoulder um, all day. Excuse the noise in the background. Chris is in the background packing stuff. He's eBaying. You know, I'm cooking, he's eating, we are a busy family. But yeah, I've had a knot in, the, in my shoulder, and so I did a workout yesterday, and I've just done um, a YouTube stretch thing. Hey Ruth, great to see you. And my shoulder is feeling loads better, so I'm not as young as I used to be, and yeah, that's saying something. And um, for all this jumping around, I have got to stretch every week twice a week so my plan is monday wednesday friday hit session and weights tuesday thursday i'm going to do stretching either yoga or one of ben's stretching videos that's in my group just down here out of shot one of my dogs my spaniel molly is she's eagerly awaiting me to drop something on the floor but i'm trimming i'm just cutting a pepper you don't like peppers why are you what you know when i get to the chicken maybe i'll save you some I'm really sorry this has taken me ages to prep my veggies, but I didn't want to just go in and cook because this will take next to no time to cook. And then this will be, you know, really over and done with really quickly. So, pepper's done. <clears throat> I'm cheating a bit. I've got some already sliced mushrooms. I went to Costco this afternoon and I bought these already done. They're lovely. They keep in the fridge for ages. One tip for you, and this goes for salad bags as well and spinach. Once you open one of these, if you just put in a bit of kitchen roll and seal it with a clip, 
this will stay in the fridge for at least five days and it won't go manky and that's a, definitely a tip for spinach because spinach can go manky really quickly so that i haven't got a prep so next is my chicken right so this is not a professional kitchen this is my own kitchen at home kids are in bed i am actually cooking dinner um, so this chicken is from costco and people often wonder what the chicken's like at someone like Costco. And it is, it's really nice. It's, you know, lovely big breasts. Okay, yes, I've said that on Instagram, I don't care. Um, but it's really reasonable, good quality. So that's, that's what we have. So I am going to slice this up. And bung it in a bowl. And then wash my hands. And then I've got some cheese to grate in a bit. So what else is people up to this week? It's Thursday, we've got the weekend coming. Have you got any exciting plans? Yeah, Tyson, okay, yeah, that's what I said. You've got to play innuendo bingo, if you can. And that'll tell me who's been listening to Radio 1. I haven't listened to Radio 1 in years. I'm far too old for that now. It's all noise, I'm a Radio 2 girl. Right, this chicken just takes forever to prep. But I can't bear any little wibbly bits, so I have to cut all the sinewy bits off. Otherwise, that's me done if I find a, a wibbly bit in my meal. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, got some lovely bits here. <clears throat> Exciting, Come on, someone tell a joke. I'm cutting chicken here, so I'll make me laugh. Okay, so what can I tell you about me? Get off you. That's Sorry. not what I meant. So my name is Nella. I am 45. I'm a graduate of the United States Valley. did it twice. The first time I graduated was a year ago yesterday, and the second time was um, May of this year. Um, I started this account as my diet bird when it was just my way of um, documenting my journey, all the J word already, um, really so I could look back and see what I did, what I ate, because you always look at these weight loss stories and you wonder, okay, what exactly did they do, what did they eat, what's the full story? Well, if you go back through my Instagram account, you can see exactly what I did. I used to post lots of pictures of me all sweaty after a workout and stuff. Oh, of course, yes, the highlight of my year was meeting Tyson Breeley. Bless his little cotton socks, even though they're adorned with a particular logo. I'm not going to say any more about that. Um, but it's been a crazy year for me and my family sort of doing this. Um, it's uh, reinvigorated my love for cooking. Not that I didn't enjoy cooking, but I just couldn't figure out how to cook a healthy meal without going overboard. I mean, this meal in particular, when I used to make this, I'd add cheese, I'd add creme fraiche, I'd add uh, maybe some beans, uh, tortillas, and it would just be over the top. So this is a low carb version um, of this recipe. So we've just got broccoli rice, we've got a bit of cheese. If you're a nice dayer, I'm doing this rest day style, so it's going to have cheese, it's going to have creme fresh, which is my side sauce, um, and it's pretty much what you would call on plan if you would just ignore the um, ketchup and the sriracha, so, but the thing is, is once you actually learn to cook again, sort of 90 day style, when you go out into the open world and figure out what you're going to cook, you kind of know what you're doing, you know that perhaps adding potato and then maybe some bread to something might be a little bit too carb heavy but it just depends on what's right for you but for me i kind of figured out kind of what level's right for me and this works for me right so boring stuff out of the way let me just wash my hands dogs are begging for chicken they're not having it yet let me just get working out the cupboard Right, just washing my hands so that I don't contaminate anything. 
This is my Saturday kitchen. I actually have got a tap that works in the kitchen. I'm going to go, hi. See, look, no makeup, don't care. Okay, so pan. I'm going to use my massive wok. So I think. Right, so I'm using my massive wok. Just gonna use a bit of olive oil. I know that in the um, 90 day plan, you can use butter, you can use oil, you can use coconut oil. I tend to use olive oil mainly. If I'm cooking a curry, I might use coconut oil. If I'm frying eggs, I'll use olive oil. I just go with whatever goes with the meal rather than chucking coconut oil on everything because that's just not my cup of tea. Oh, I need a drink of water. So the first thing that I'm going to start cooking is my chicken because that's going to take the longest to cook. No idea says I'm too noisy. You are too noisy. My right, pan is heating up. Right. <clears throat> Normally, I would turn the heat up and I would completely cover the kitchen in smoke. But as I can't put the extractor fan on, I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to go for some of that. I'm just those on anymore. I have no idea what you're doing. I have no idea what that means. Is that what you know then? I don't know. It's well being. I'm doing it twice in style. Oh, it's a spooky delay, isn't it? Yeah, it's You don't understand the electric system anymore. Can you actually say hello while I'm being able to social? I wonder if it's frozen. Oh, well, I had to still with me. I had to wash my hands again. I didn't touch the chicken. So I really apologise if the sound's a little bit. If I'm drowned out by chicken, but it's no bad thing. Right, so this is going to be um, the heat free chicken. So the spices that I would use are smoked paprika and cumin. Now I use cumin quite a lot, so I buy my cumin in great big sachets. So I've got this as one of my um, spice containers. So I'm just going to dig it out from here. Hang on. We've got uh, coriander. Oh, please don't turn one out. No, you want some. Well, you have to come round, Missy, if you want some. Ms. Grover. You never visit them. Yeah, who? Nadia who? Nadia who? Who? She's got a new hair, she's only been showing it off. Oh, wow. I, well, I don't believe that she has. I can't find my cumin. I've lost my cumin. Typical. Oh, hang on. It's here all the time. The... Okay, so, just for Tyson, okay, so, bit of cumin in, and some paprika. Now, I'm always a bit generous when it comes to the dry spices, because at the end of the day, they're powdered, they're not coated in oil, it's not going to affect macros, not that I'm counting calories or macros, but I want flavour. So I'm not afraid of using spice, as you will know if you put them in my recipes. But one thing I'm not adding into this tonight is chilli because I've got a few jalapenos to use up. Right, so I'm just going to cook this out a little bit more before I add anything else. It's just really my veggies to go in after this. So the last thing you want is raw chicken. So. Just going to make sure that I can't see any pink bits. Right, so I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. I'm going to add a bit of salt. 
husband is being really rude and he's watching the body coach. I mean, why are you watching the body coach when I'm cooking? Because he's got a hot around. Yeah, true. So I, this pan's a little bit dry, so instead of adding oil, I'm gonna add a splash of water. This isn't hot water, it's just what I've got to hand. And this is gonna help cook things. So this isn't gonna be watery, this is all gonna evaporate. But instead of adding more oil and increasing the calories, just add a little bit of, um, add a little bit of water to the pan. I mean, I, I'm of the days of Rosemary Conley cooking, and I don't know if you remember her, but when she had a cookery show, and of course she's all about low fat, and she was forever, bless her consort, dry frying vegetables in a, in a pan with nothing in it, and it was just really sad to watch. You know, she was always tossing vegetables around a dry pan, praying that they would cook. With this, they're gonna cook. So chicken is almost cooked. We've cut it nice and thinly, and it's, I've even got a little bit of a sauce going on in there, so I'm just gonna leave that for a sec. Just gonna chuck peppers and onion on now. And my mushroom. So I'm definitely gonna get my five a day with this meal. And this is for two, so don't get freaked out. This isn't all just for me. It's for me and Chris. Chris as far as I call him. Right, so this is my kitchen roll. I'm just gonna cut it into, or cut it, fold it. Pop it into my bag with my mushrooms. And then I'm just going to seal it with a clip. Yeah, you must have seen these clips when you're walking around Ikea. And then that's just going to go in my fridge. Ta-da! <coughs> See, unfortunately, I've got to put my own things in the fridge because my lovely assistant is... Well, I don't have one. Yeah, I He's eBaying over there. Okay, so I've got lots of people watching. That's fabulous. So, if you fancy it, say hi. Tell me what you're up to. Are you a 90 dayer? Are you following? Are you know your macro tracking? Have you worked out tonight? What have you done? What What are your plans? My next workout is tomorrow night. Right, so we just need that to cook out a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more water to help steam the veggies. Again, I don't want to add any more oil to the pan. I am going to turn it up. You guys are really quiet. You need to talk to me. I can see you're watching, but just talk to me. I bet you're all watching Joe Wicks or something on another screen. And you're transfixed. What I want, I need a big enough, bigger lid than this, but I'm just going to create some steam just to help cook things off. <clears throat> Salivating, Nadia. Well, I, I wish I was. I don't know what it's like for you, but when I'm cooking, I, I don't really enjoy it until I'm sitting there eating it. I know Ruth, everyone's live. I think um, Ben Davy was live in my group half, no, 50 minutes ago, but I was upstairs barking the children. Obviously I'm live. I know that Joe Wicks is live mm -hmm. on Facebook tonight mm -hmm. at nine o'clock, I think it is. I put a little link to it in my group. I see Tyson's preoccupied uh, with his injury. That's all I'm gonna say. I thought you were go blind, bro. That's right, um, Joe's doing a live with the Grenade Founder, so that could be interesting. Really? Yeah. Just okay, so this is um, coming along nicely. So I can see that 
someone is multitasking, getting ready to play badders. I'm guessing that's badminton. I almost missed that notification there. Right, so this is coming along nicely. So let me tidy up as I go along. Because I'm really bad at tidying up as I go along. And it's normally carnage in this kitchen. So let me show you what I'm serving this with. <clears throat> so I'm serving this with um, some broccoli rice that I made yesterday. Um, it's just broccoli chucked in a blender. There's a video on my YouTube channel and I'm producing a new little video on these quick like 10 second things. And um, I've got some jalapenos. Um, this massive jar comes from Costco if you're a fan, really reasonable. Um, I've got some reduced fat creme fraiche. Uh, I've got some coriander, which I'll chuck in a bit. And uh, I've got some cheddar. So, nothing too complex so far. And if I was more organised, I would w I'd be batch cooking this and having this for lunch tomorrow. But I am not organised today. Alright, let's have a look and see what's happening. Okay, so this is looking so good. Yes, I agree. Costco and also oh, really? Sriracha need to sponsor me. Did I say Sriracha? Oh, Sriracha Flying Goose. Right, so let's just get this going. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. You're hungry. Oh, I'm sorry I'm not cooking this quick enough for you, love. Okay, so in with Chris's special ingredient. Ketchup. It's organic, don't you know? Awesome, so I am a name dropper. Hmm. London muscle, anyone? <laughs> right. So sriracha, flying goose sauce going in now. Just some added spice. And give it a good mix. So this is one of these dishes that really doesn't take long to put together once you've actually chopped all the vegetables. It's taken me longer to prep all the veggies than it did to actually cook it. Yvonne says hello. Hi. Tyson says, have you heard of London Muscle? No, no idea who those guys are. The only man, man bun I'm aware of is Joe Wicks's. Okay. We're almost there. What am I doing? Ah, chopping board. Yvonne says it looks yummy. Thanks Yvonne. I hope it tastes yummy. I've not actually tried it yet. Maybe I should. I'll try it. No, you're not trying anything. Yeah, happy with that. It's kind of tomatoey, garlicky and a bit spicy. So, ticks all the boxes. Right, coriander. Uh, I'm just chopping my coriander. I know this is not the most exciting thing I'm going to do all evening. I'm going to chop that in at the end. Okay, so that's done. <clears throat> all right, let's just move this out of the way. And I'm going to heat my broccoli rice. I think I have to take this off the cooker. Can you see the size of this? That's a mega wok from Ikea, I think it was, and that's just the normal size. So this bad boy, I'm going to have to put on the table for the coaster underneath. Right, so... So I'm just going to warm up my uh, broccoli rice. I'm not adding any oil to the pan. I made this myself yesterday, so I know it's fresh. It includes the stalk. The stalk's really good to eat. Really tasty. <coughs> and the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the pan, just to help it steam. And a little bit of seasoning. Mm. 
And that's it, that's all I'm gonna do to it. So, got my paddle, and I'm just gonna let it cook. You don't need to do much to broccoli rice, I have to admit, and the same with cauliflower rice. You know, if it's really fresh, you just you know, either chuck it into whatever you're cooking, or you just dry fry it, or fry it oil if that's what you wanna do. Um, but uh, with uh, Hannah says hello from Canada. Hi. It looks great. Canada. Thank you. Where about in Canada is she from? I don't know. Where about in Canada are you from? I've got family in Canada. Um, I think they are in Toronto. It's my dad's cousin. Um, so it's great that you're watching. It's great that anybody's watching. Quite frankly. I'm watching. You're, you're not watching. You're lurking. Right. So going back to what I was saying. Um, so when it comes to broccoli rice and cauliflower rice, I would warm them up. But when it comes to spiralised courgette or courgette, providing it's lovely and fresh and you've made it yourself, um, I, I don't tend to heat it up. Because if you heat up um, courgette, it tends to mush. It goes a bit slimy. So I like, to, I like to serve it in the raw, so to speak. And while we're talking about courgette, really easy to make. Let me show you my spiralizer. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but this is my spiralizer. It's nothing exciting. I did have a plastic one and it didn't work that well, so I just picked this up. This is a Pro Cook, I think. Yeah, it's a Pro Cook spiralizer and I bought it at the Pro Cook shop, um, the Carthage Glen, but you can buy it on Amazon. Um, and it's just really easy to use. Um, the blade comes out, it's really quick to clean and that's my favourite. Right, so let's get back to this broccoli rice. So it's almost done already. So I've not worked, well, I have worked out and I haven't. I've done a yoga session, but it doesn't warrant um, a workout um, carb meal. So I'm just having a low carb day, which isn't going to kill me. And I quite like low carb days as well, because I, I sometimes will get a bit carried away with carbs, I know it sounds silly, but you know, I quite happily have toast for breakfast, a sandwich for lunch, pasta for dinner, and then I just feel, you know, kind of bloated and a little bit uncomfortable. Whereas if I kind of restrict it to once or twice a day, then I'm kind of happy. And I feel loads better, but I do love bread. And I, there's an amazing bakers in Leicester that we've been buying sourdough um, bread from called the Tiny Bakery. So shout out to Tiny Bakery, love your bread could eat it every day. I'd happily travel and come and get it every day, but I think you only make it at the weekends. Right, this. Thirsty fries and Saturday. Thirsty fries and Saturday, apparently. Sourdough bread from the tiny bakery in Leicester, just down the road from my osteopath. Right, that is done. So I'm just gonna move that to one side. Right, bring that back in. And then warm up the bowls. Nothing like serving up dinner into cold bowls. So Scottish and living in Canada, where you can't really complain. That's amazing. My my parents are Italian and they emigrated um, over 50 years ago, and uh, they ended up in Surrey and now living in the Leicester area. So. I'm just going to get my cheese grated. This is just ordinary cheddar. It's not, it's not low fat, it's just regular cheddar. I don't buy low fat cheese because it doesn't taste so nice. So, I'm just going to grate a bit for the two of us. Now if you're on the nice day plan, you know that you should weigh this, but I kind of know what I should be having. And I do still have my pickle mix list that I do still cook from. Which is just, just here. Plates are almost warm. Okay, cheese grated. No, it looks great. Awesome, thanks for the session. Looks yummy. Happy Easter. Thank you. Well, we are almost done. Hi, Amanda. Great to see you. We chat lots on Instagram. And it's normally about my, my children because I'm always filming little clips of my children goofing around. Um, and they love just mucking around on Instagram. 
Um, well, Dwayne says, what's your meal? Well, you're allowed to be saying, what's your meal? Thank you. This is basically a version of my spiciest flip for heat chicken. It's on the website, mydietbubble.com. It's in the link at Recipe App. It's a low-carb meal. So I've just spent the last 10 minutes, I think it's been, cooking this. It's almost done. We're in the last few minutes. Amanda says she loves you, and someone else has just said cheese. Oh, thanks, Amanda. Love you, too. Love your messages. I mean, I love that my, my boys keep everybody entertained. They are little buggers at times, but they are just cute. What thought in a second away. That's all right. I can cope with that. So I have added um, water throughout, and if I just tilt the pan, there's no water at the bottom of the pan. It has all evaporated. Get out. Right, now it's dishing up time. All right. I've just had a message from, is it Sarah Mohammed? Love your recipes, thank you so much. I'm just amazed that anybody cooks them, quite frankly. The whole point of setting up the website is so that I could keep a record of the recipes that I came up with when I did the 90 day plan, because I didn't want to come up with them all over again. And all I've done is I've just created um, 90 day plan friendly versions of things I love to eat. So I'll ask you if you're still following the body coach. Oh yes, and, and I chat to him on um, Twitter occasionally. I think she means if you're still following the body coach plan, not, not if you no, keep no, no, chatting no. on Twitter. Like oh sorry, mm, name dropping. <laughs> I, I don't follow the plan anymore, but I kind of, I'm gonna use a phrase, I kind of follow principles. I have been playing around with um, my food to kind of figure out kind of what level of carbs suit my body. Um, I can't go, how can I put this without sounding weird? Um, I find if I have just one carb meal a day, I sometimes struggle. Um, if I go three carb meals a day, I, it's over the top for me. So I kind of go one or two, just depending on how I feel. You've taken away all the things that I was gonna stir with, and I'm gonna tell you people, he's licked my spoon. My husband has licked my spoon. Oh. oh man, thank you Amanda for liking the app. It was a- Labor of love. It was a labor of love to create it. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't know if you've worked with your other half. Um, it can be quite interesting at times. Um, it's all I can say. We have creative differences. Okay. I, I could have made a fortune because she's always changing her mind. Well, it's a woman's prerogative to change her mind, darling. Did you not know this? Pain in the arse. Yeah, I am a pain in the arse, but you knew that <laughs> when you married me, so that's all I can You're say. Yeah, we only got married down the road. We've just celebrated our 16th anniversary of meeting. Of meeting, not married. We got married 13 years ago. Um, yeah, that, that is broccoli rice, yeah. Yeah, broccoli, thank you for keeping. Um, a count of what I'm doing. Um, so if you were on the 90 day plan and you're doing this with your partner and, and they've got their macros, you would be using two pans because you've got to have your food. I used to do that. I used to have two pans on the go um, on this cooker. You have one for you, one for your partner. That way you know you're having what you're supposed to have, they're having what they're supposed to have and it's easy. So I've got- yeah, I mean, I'm what we do now is I eat exactly the same meals as Nella and then just make up my deficit by eating lots of snacks. It's good fun. Yeah, it is. Lucky him. Hmm. What can I say? So, cheese. That's quite a large portion. No, it's a standard 90 day portion, isn't it? What's that? Of cheese? No, I think she just means the meal. Oh, um, no, it's actually got more vegetables than I should have um, for a 90 day meal. So. If, if this is a 90 day meal, I would be having less peppers, less onions, and definitely no mushrooms. So because, well, they're vegetables, I've gone crazy on the peppers, and I've done a big pepper and a small one between us, a whole onion between us, and I've done some mushrooms. Um, so I'm not too worried about vegetables. Amanda's husband is the same. Brilliant, I think that's sensible. I, I, Amanda, have you made him them um, chocolate bars that Nella Published the other oh, week. the protein bars. Because they were very addictive. Oh, get the packet out. I have to you stop eating that. Get the packet out. You can show people what I use. So I'm oh. just dressing um, this with big creme fresh. As I said to me before, um, when you, I used to. Do you weigh everything? You weigh the 
I weigh the chicken, I weigh the chicken in advance because um, when we buy the chicken from Costco, <coughs> excuse me, we portion the chicken up before it goes in the freezer so I don't have to worry about weighing it. We always weigh carbs. Yeah, I always weigh whatever carbs, so if I'm having pasta, I weigh that or I buy um, pre-cooked rice and I cheat with that and I buy um, a pouch of Tilda. But we don't bother with vegetables because no. I don't think we got fat by eating too much fruit and veg. No, unfortunately. If that was the case, then yeah, that would be quite easy. But what I would normally, what I used to do with this kind of meal, I used to have um, rice, I used to have full fat um, creme fraiche, more cheese than that, I'd add uh, maybe some bread and some avocado to it as well, and it would just be overloaded with extra things that I didn't necessarily need. Um, and I'm only just making the bars. So Amanda, that's the protein flakes we used to make the bars. You can get a couple out actually, whilst I get the jalapenos I'll eat some. out. Oh, you're typical. That's all right, I just put them there. So, um, okay, so all that's going on are some jalapenos. You are awesome. Someone says you're awesome. Thank they've, you. They've not met you. No, I have my flaws. Have you met my children? They drive me crazy. Have I told you my children drive me crazy? My husband drives me crazy. I'm Right, so I will photograph this and I'll post this as my dinner because obviously this is my dinner. Just in case anyone's wondering, the, the meals that I post to Instagram, they are things that I actually eat. So. If you're wondering why you don't see things like smoothie bowls, it's because I don't eat them. I don't eat protein pancakes. I've tried them a few times, but I find that if I have protein pancakes or smoothies, then about an hour later, I'm absolutely starving. Oh, I did wonder that. Um, yeah, I, the health ones. I don't know those ones. No, not, I don't know those ones either. You've probably so, not made it to last as you No. Um, so everything that you see on my Instagram is basically what I'm preparing for me and the family. Occasionally, I'll try something new. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but if there's anything you fancy uh, me having a go at, then you know, DM me, um, send me a message, and I'll see what I can do. I am awesome really cheese. interested in things like gut health. Uh, um, gut health, I'm really interested in um, plant-based food as well. But the thing is, is I do like my dairy, so, so I'm well, not sure I can I give that Sarah, up. She's asking what you have for breakfast. Breakfast um, is quite interesting. I've done a few of those recently. I've done um, things like my cheesy egg wrap sausage rolls. What else have I done? You did chicks, chicks in blankets. In blankets um, um, all right. sorts of things. Uh, this morning it was, <coughs> excuse me, um, it was my breakfast burrito with a twist. And the twist is that the burrito outer casing is made from an egg wrap. And quite often, you used to have like ham, ham egg and veg. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm going to sort of move the camera now so I can I say hi. Hi. So, yeah, I mean, breakfast at the moment, if I'm not doing kind of a 90-day type breakfast, let me show you my apron. I'll take you up. It'll get me out the holster. If I'm just having a normal breakfast, um, I'll have ham and eggs. Amanda wants to move in. We have got a spare room, Amanda, but we... You have to sleep next to the children. Yeah, it's, a, it's, the kid, it's the room next to the kids' room, and God, they're noisy, especially at night. Um, but um, breakfast, yeah, I mean, if you go on to... Um, You've got a blog post on your website. Yeah, so if you bring up my website over here... Why do I do that? So, so over, uh, I'm not good with computers. Oh, he's not good with computers. I'm really, really sorry, but, you know, me and him. Mm. So let me take you for a tour around the kitchen. So you've seen, obviously, my cooker. Really? Um, microwave, really exciting. Messy kitchen, which I'll be tidying up later on. Uh, there's my computer over there where I write all my recipes. A little photography area as well. Table covered up because my children are messy eaters and I don't want them covering up my lovely table with yogurt. Chris, the photo box? Oh, so this is where I do my food photography. This is a natty little thing. So I can change like the, um, the base and the background and just create different moves for my pictures moods this is my calendar with my little boys on there and again um, they are eating cake for the looks of it this down here is yoshi he is a nova scotia duck tonic retriever and he is 10 he'll be 11 um next year this is Maisie. she is nine she is um what is she she's, she's a, a working cocker so there is this blog post yeah 
on the website mydietbabel.com if you go to the blog section and just scroll down there is a blog post can i just and um, if you just scroll down there's a bit of blurb from me but there are links to recipes that are on the website these are also in the app as well and they're free recipes yeah. um you've got rest day ones and you've got training day ones as well. If you're a subscriber to the app, then there are more um, there too. So um, it, it can be... Thank you, Amanda. It can be a little bit tricky um, eating breakfast on the 90-day plan because you've got to have meat or you've got to have one of the set recipes. I don't want to be in it. Okay. Um, but it is doable. Bear with it. You do get used to it. And once you've finished... You're not going to want to eat a smoothie for breakfast or um, protein pancakes. Someone's hungry. He can't wait. So he's off. So it looks like I'm photographing mine. So this is me saying brilliant. Oh, you showed the magic of the photo box. So let's put the food in it. Oh, okay. So. We're going to put the food in it. This is so unprofessional. We don't get deliciously Ella or Joe Wicks doing this. It's all very, you know, high quality. Well, but you cooked it yourself. I have cooked this. <laughs> da, 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 da. So I'm going to photograph this in here once we say our goodbyes. And then this is what I'm going to post to Instagram tonight Sorry. as my meal. And um, all I'm going to say is thanks for joining me. I should do this more often because obviously I cook every day. And it's been brilliant having a bit of company because he's rubbish company at times. So I guess that's it from us. So do I. Bye.